Good morning, Malibu. I'm Shayla Gerardin. And I'm Phil Riola. Here we are. Uh, another great semester here on Good Morning Malibu and lots of great morning television for you. Yes, lots of things to talk <laughs> about this week. About. So everyone loves um, a good George and Matt and Absolutely. everyone loves George Clooney and Matt Damon and they have quite a history together uh, of pulling pranks and recently uh, Matt Damon revealed that uh, George Clooney uh, pulled uh, another prank on him while they were preparing for their newest movie, um, the, the Nazi art movie. They were, which uh, the name Shayla and I both forget as of right now, so. It'll come gonna, to us, come it'll to come us to us me. It's, it's just a matter of time, but of course when you need it, yes. it's not there. Well, four, four stories from now we'll think of it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so they were preparing for uh, the movie and they were trying to get in shape, so they were working out together. And as a joke, George Clooney would have someone sneak into Matt Damon's house every couple days and alter his pants an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch to make it seem like Matt Damon was actually gaining weight and not losing weight. <laughs> so Matt freaked out because he was working out and dieting and doing all this stuff and, you know, he wasn't fitting his pants. I think that's just cruel. It'd probably be a little worse if you were to do that to a female. I probably. feel like you would, you would face their wrath. You would but... get slapped. <laughs> you would get when slapped. They found out. But even to a guy. That's just cruel. Don't get any ideas, Phil. I will, um, I will not alter your pants <laughs> thank for you. fear of getting slapped. I think. But um, a side note, George Clooney looks so much younger than Matt Damon now. He does. I saw a picture of him. I don't know if we have a picture of him, but there was a picture of the two of them standing next to each other, and George Clooney, who's 10 years older, looks yeah. <laughs> way younger than Matt Damon. So I'm sorry, Matt Damon, you're great, but... George Clooney looks younger than you. And I love Matt Damon. I'm a big fan, but I have to agree that 2013, he was he was looking a little more mature. Yes. We'll put it that way. You know, he's maturing. Um, if I were Matt Damon, though, I would change my legal name to Matt Jason Bourne Damon. He is Jason Bourne. I think he'll always be Jason Bourne to me. Why, why not change it when you can? <laughs> Uh, some other big news going on right now. Prince Harry is actually departing from the army for a desk job. Uh, it was just revealed that he quit his job after three years as an Apache helicopter pilot um, in order to bring the Warrior Games, which is uh, a new form of Olympics for wounded soldiers, to London. So uh, no more active duty. He's, he's trading in his combat boots to go behind the desk. And a lot of people think it's because of his relationship with the social light. Um, I can't think of her name either. We're on a roll today. Yep. Uh, we're but doing so great. <laughs> you know, so how we're, we're really on, a, on the right track. So he's, um, he's Chris, not. Chrisita Bonas, I believe oh. her name is. So he's not flying helicopters no anymore helicopter or, or fighting in the line of service. He's now in a cubicle playing World of Warcraft yeah. and instant messaging with his girlfriend who's not a stripper like the other one. No. <laughs> There's a new girlfriend now. Um, apparently she is a socialite, is a, is a socialite in London. Two steps above a stripper. Her, <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's, her father is a duke of some, uh, of some uh, sort. Three steps above yeah, a stripper. Yeah, so, her father's a so duke. that she is impressive. That and they've been dating for quite some time now and apparently things are getting serious and he quit his job. So I mean, yeah. hey. Props to her. He uh, finally found a decent woman, and Kim Kardashian is getting married for the second time in two you years. You know, the Kardashian weddings are just never the ending. The social but you atmosphere in the world right now is just absolutely <laughs> just so phenomenal. Good. If only it, I could remember the name of that stupid movie that's coming out with George Clooney. It Damon wouldn't be it wouldn't be a true year if there wasn't at least two Kardashian weddings. Right. I mean, and a divorce. And a divorce. Oh and yeah. And Justin course. Bieber has a coke problem. <laughs> uh, but but getting back on track, apparently also uh, um, Prince Harry shaved his beard oh. on on separate news. The Queen said that she wasn't too keen on it. Uh, so after about two weeks of her persistence, he decided to go ahead and, and shave his beard. So and she guess what thought, she wants? Yes, she is the Queen after all. If the Queen were my grandmother, I would fear her too. Yes, absolutely. She has her little corgis. <laughs> her giant fleet of protective soldiers, and anything she wants in the entire world. Yeah, that, that is what happens after reaching your 50-year jubilee, I think it was, yeah. that just occurred this summer. Yeah. I think she can pretty much get anything she wants. I don't blame her. <laughs> so, she might be able to get a black rhinoceros if she really wanted. They are endangered. And recently, a man has paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for the right to hunt and kill one. <laughs> as ironic yes. as that is, it's endangered. and. Uh, the permit to kill one black rhinoceros was auctioned off to a gentleman here in the United States to raise money 
to try and protect the species. He's only going to be allowed to kill an older Mm -hmm. rhinoceros who can no longer mate and produce little baby black rhinoceroses, rhinoceri. 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 (laughs) And they just had the auction in in Vegas, I believe, and he ended up paying uh, around 325,000, I think was the final number. So definitely paid a hefty price, but I am a little confused as to the fact that he's paying to shoot Shoot one in order to preserve their lives. So that, that's a thinker. But he's getting death threats. He is, he Um, is. Someone, yeah, I have it here. Someone commented on Facebook saying, the things I can and will do to you will make the Saw movies look mild. Uh, and that is from uh, probably an activist because any yeah. sane human being um, That's would not say that to another human being. And everyone knows yeah. that the rhinoceros activists... Are not They're very passionate. Um, but apparently, he's had to bring in the FBI. His children are now getting threats. Yes. His whole he family's has like a at risk. He has like a two-year-old and, and a, another yeah. younger child, and they're all getting death threats. So it is very inappropriate. Yeah. Because it was sanctioned by um, one of the African governments and our government, and he did win the bid. And um, you know, there are a lot of arguments that mm-hmm. auctioning this off, you know, will help the rhinoceros population, and it is just inappropriate to be threatening. Someone's child um, trying to protect a rhinoceros. Yeah. Um, In hindsight, that was a very costly, costly rhinoceros shot right there. Yes, I could spend $350,000 on a lot more than shooting a rhinoceros. Yes, and save your family's life while you're at it. So, yes. so yes. we're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned because when we come back, we're going yes. to have your latest in sports and news from around the world here at Goodman Malibu. So stay with back. us. <laughs> 